Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Those of you that call me all the time for advice and, and uh, send in room forms and things like that, always hear me say the first rule in acoustics is do no harm. And some of you, you know, you have just really bad rooms. So everything you're going to do in that room is going to be harmful, so to speak, to acoustics, to sound quality, and all the variables that go with the management of sound quality. So distance is a critical dimension. Okay, distance is a critical dimension, especially with sidewalls. And the first rule, remember, in acoustics is do no harm. That really pertains to sidewalls. So let's talk about sidewalls. What do they contribute? Well, the reflection from the sidewall contributes to that center image we all like, whether you're mixing, whether you're listening to two-channel playback. It's that mysterious thing that always mystified me, even when I was a teenager, that two speakers could produce this center image that had really nothing to do with the two speakers. And then if you get the room treated correctly, the two speakers kind of disappear acoustically. So you're right there in, in, on stage, so to speak. So this distance from speaker to sidewall is critical. This distance in the whole room is critical. We never build a room that has sidewalls less than 14 feet. And we'll get into why that's the case in other videos, but use that kind of as your guideline. Another thing you have to remember is 100 cycle energy is 11.3 foot long. So you guys that have these eight foot wide rooms, nine foot, 10 foot wide rooms, you're gonna have problems from 100 cycles and up, maybe 90 cycles and up. And that's tough because the treatment that you have to use to manage those is thick. So the lower the frequency of problem based on dimension, the thicker the treatment requirements. So let's say in our room here that's 14 feet wide, we have a low frequency problem. So we have to treat this side wall with low frequency material. Now low frequency material can be nine, 10, 12, 14 inches thick, depending on the amplitude of the problem, depending on the usage of the room, how much pressure you're putting in the room, how much your box will hold, how much your glass of water will hold. So the bottom line here is, we want to give ourselves a fighting chance to accomplish our usage objectives. We want to make sure that we have a starting point that works for our usage, that helps us contribute enough space to treat the problem. So then sidewalls have these three reflections that we have to be real concerned about, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Obviously the primary we all know about, but this primary then strikes that wall, comes across to the second wall. That's the secondary reflection. Then it goes back this way. So we have three. All of this is occurring between the speakers and the listening position. So that's why when we treat for middle and high frequency, we always treat from behind the speakers to behind the listening position. So the bottom line here is you have to be careful. You can't start out in a place that can't be fixed. You have to be real, real careful on your usage and the sidewalls especially. So remember, first rule in acoustics, do no harm, especially when it comes to the sidewall. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.